Hey everybody, it's Monday! Monday morning. Oh, like my shirt? Okay, so this is what I like kind of attempted to do last week and then only filmed like one meal. But I'm gonna do a what I eat in a week video. Probably just dinners because my daytime is too hectic to film. But we'll see what happens. I guess you'll find out in a couple minutes. So the first thing we're gonna make is papas con chorizo tacos. We're gonna make a homemade salsa, which is why you have tomato, garlic, onion, and serrano peppers here. First, we're gonna turn on a um, skillet on the stove. And I have regular sized garlic, but I also have this enormous elephant garlic, which is like my favorite new thing. So we're actually gonna use both of those just for fun. <laughs> um, go ahead and put all those ingredients that I showed you before on the pan. Um, look at the runaway tomatoes. Oh my God, do you see that disgusting serrano pepper? It's like rotten, do you see that? I ended up taking it out in a <laughs> upcoming shot because I didn't notice it after I put it in the pan. Do you see that? Oh my God. So yeah, go ahead and put all those ingredients in there. Um, see how I use the big garlic and then the small garlic. While that is going, we're gonna set up the potatoes, sorizo, onion, garlic, and cheese, Miyoko's cheese cheddar um, for our second part of the dish. So go ahead and skin the potatoes however you want, or peel them. Chop them up. I like chopping them up in little cubes for this recipe. Um, and then go check on your vegetables. They're all roasted and toasted. That looks pretty good. You could definitely leave them in for longer, but it's good to take them out at about this point. See how they're kind of like sweating and the tomato skin is peeling off. Um, yeah, they're ready to go into our blender, our liquidor. I know that it's not El Blendor from a very long story. Anyway, we're gonna leave some of the serrano peppers in the pan because sometimes this can be a little too spicy, but you can always put in more peppers, but you can't take the peppers out once you make the salsa. Please ignore the upcoming continuity error. Here we go. Let's go ahead and blend up the salsa. And we need to do a little taste test. So get your chip. I went ahead and tasted this and it was missing something because I forgot a very key ingredient to this recipe because I hadn't made it for a while and I don't follow recipes. Sea salt. Oh yeah. So um, go ahead and put some salt in there. It also wasn't spicy enough. So I ended up taking those two serrano peppers that I had originally left and I put both of them back in there. I think I used too many tomatoes for this. I think my ratios were off. This is what happens when I like don't follow <laughs> recipes I make something once and then I just kind of go off what I remember and I'm going to be linking the recipes that have inspired me um, in my bio here so okay we need another taste test to make sure it's good is it good is it good is it good <sighs> yeah baby it's good this salsa is good so set that aside put it in a nice little jar and go ahead and start cooking your potatoes I just did it on the same exact pan it actually made it like yummy and brown see that I put like salt and pepper on there too but it just made it yummier to have it on the pan that those vegetables were roasted on so that tasted good that wasn't my plan I was just being lazy okay here's some soy rizo so it's vegan chorizo it looks like a big fat poo poo <laughs> so please ignore that it literally looks disgusting I hate doing it it looks so gross but you just have to chop it up and like really mix it in there with the potatoes and then when you're done doing that go ahead and add some garlic um, some onion, you know, whatever. Oh, and the cheese is very important after you kind of cook it for a little while. Go ahead and use whatever kind of vegan cheese you want. Um, I've been into Miyoko's cheddar lately. So that's what I used for this recipe. And you want it to get kind of like crispy. See the kind of crispiness, like, and deliciousness. Oh my God, I wish I was eating this again right now, honestly. And don't let Gertie have any because it's spicy and it has garlic and dogs can't have either of those things. So to heat up the tortillas, I'm really freaking lazy and I just put them right here in the pan to heat them up. <laughs> you can do this however you want. Um, leave it in there for a minute or two. Go ahead and take it out because I don't have a comal. I could do it in the microwave, but I was too lazy to even do that. <laughs> so go ahead and put them on your earth plate and voila. You got your little salsa in the dish that you just made, your chips on the side, your delicious tacos. Avocado would have been good with this, but it was um, bad when I went to go use it. So there you go. There's some papas con chorizo tacos. Mmm, vegan style. All right, now we're on to Tuesday. There I am on Tuesday. What are we going to make tonight? We're actually going to be making a salad. I love salads. So we're going to make our own ranch. 
um, with some soaked cashews, apple cider vinegar, lemon, garlic salt, black pepper, onion powder, and some little salad dressing dried concoction that I got at Sprouts that I really love. So go ahead and take your cashews and put them into a blender and put them in the, um, in some, with some water or the water that it was soaked in kind of doesn't matter. Go ahead and put in your onion powder, your garlic salt. You can use garlic powder too. This is just what I had. And then your pepper. And this is going to be like a ranch dressing. So this is the herb blend that I get. It's like dried up chives, parsley, um, and dill. It's so good. So if you live near sprouts, go ahead and get this. Or you could do fresh herbs. You know, that also works. There's some apple cider vinegar. I don't measure. So I just kind of put in whatever I want. And let's blend it up. And I forgot the lemon. I tried to sync that up, but I failed. So <laughs> chop up your lemon, squeeze that juice into the blender and blend it, dry it. Let's see how it is. Is it good? Yeah, it's pretty good. I also do this with mayonnaise. Um, like if you don't have cashews, I just do the exact same recipe with mayonnaise, but I don't need to put it in a blender. I just like mix it up with a spoon. So go ahead and put that in a jar, set it aside. I don't know why I'm doing this like a tutorial because um, it's not a tutorial. It's just like what I had. Okay. So now we're going to make tofu for our salad as well. So get your extra firm tofu soy sauce and toasted sesame oil. I love the toasted sesame oil. This is like such a simple thing, but it honestly tastes so good. So I have a tofu press, um, which is really cool because it gets all that extra moisture out of there which will make your tofu like crispier and more firm because like firm tofu is the best tofu and then go ahead and um, screw it down and put it on a plate or whatever leave it like that and then the water's going to drain so the next thing we're going to make for the salad is potatoes so get potatoes your garlic onion tarragon other spices i got rosemary garlic black pepper onion powder again skin them. Why am I saying skin? I feel like it's peel. <laughs> so this time I chopped them into like french fry style just for fun. I kind of like that for this recipe. Go ahead and put them on a heated skillet. And uh, yeah, while you're waiting for that, you can take a big fat elephant garlic. Look at that. That's one clove. Oh, remember dogs can't have that. Don't let Gertie have the garlic. She wants it, but she can't. So chop that up, add that in with your potatoes, mix it, mash it, stir, stir, stir. Oh my God, did you see that garlic fly? Did you see the garlic fly off of the... <laughs> oh my God, oh my God, Gertie tried to get it. No, 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 Gertie cannot eat garlic. Dogs cannot have garlic. Oh, but she thought I was giving her a treat. So, oh, look at her wagging her tail. So I think we should give her a treat anyway, because like, luckily we saved her from eating the garlic. <laughs> but I think she deserves a treat. These are these little vegan, I call them Teddy Grahams. <laughs> I like these vegan dog treats that actually taste really good for humans too. I think this is the pumpkin flavor. Make sure she sits like a good, good girl and then give her, oh, she decapitated the bear. Oh my God. <laughs> anyway, back to the kitchen. Remember the leftover onion from the other day? Please don't judge me for using plastic, but we're going to use onion for this recipe as well. We're going to um, just, we're just going to go ahead and chop it up and set it to the side. And then the potatoes, I didn't film this, but I put like all the spices on the tip, the t -t potatoes, what am I saying? The potatoes, um, make sure you use some nooch too. And, um, some, a little bit of lemon on the potatoes is good. And look at it, make it crispy, delicious, yummy. Like people say they hate salads, but like, I love them probably because I just like basically make whatever I want, like with potatoes. Oh my God. Okay. So the tofu is ready. Look at that. So um, look at all the water that came out of the tofu. This is exactly why we do that. So now that that is drained and pressed, we're going to go ahead and cut it up into little cubes. Um, I just like cubes for this recipe. There's no rhyme or reason get your soy sauce and your toasted sesame oil and load it up on your pan and plop your extra firm tofu right in there. <laughs> and look at that. Delicious. Oh my God. Do you, I really Okay, the next thing, please don't judge me, it's kind of weird, but it makes a good topping. Some frozen corn and some blanched, um, not blanched, I don't know what they are, sliced almonds. <laughs> I'm not a chef. Um, just put that in the pan that you've been cooking everything in because you're lazy and you don't want to make extra dishes, but it, you can just say it's for flavor. Oh, and I forgot to show myself putting the almonds in, that's what that was. So anyway, you're going to put those in the pan and just like leave them and stir them and all that stuff. And in a little while, you're going to get a delicious, toasty little almond, little corn topping for your I get some 
romaine. Sorry, don't judge me for the plastic. This was the only romaine they had at the store. Go ahead and get your romaine and put it into a bowl and then put all your toppings in there. Oh my God, look how good it looks. Like seriously, I don't understand how people don't like salads. Okay, so remember the ranch dressing that you made like five minutes ago? <laughs> Go ahead and put it on your salad as much as you want. Um, I don't have the best blender, so that's why it like looks a little chunky, but it tastes so good. Okay, the next day, this is Wednesday. I was not feeling good this day, you guys. <laughs> My shirt actually like worked out perfectly for how I was feeling. I was dizzy. I was really, really dizzy. I wasn't doing good. So we're gonna make something really easy. Um, look at me. <laughs> We're going to make these taquitos, these frozen taquitos. Me and my friend Scarlett used to eat these literally all the time. When I first went vegan, we would make these all the time. So this is like great memories for me. You can make these in the microwave, but I like making them in the oven these days. So we're going to do that today. This is vegan chicken style. So go ahead and preheat your oven to 350. My oven is so gross. Have I acknowledged that yet? It's so dirty. Ugh, look at all the scum. Gross. Okay. <laughs> so go ahead and put your taquitos on a foiled, on a foiled cookie sheet oh and remember the um, peppers and the onions from the other day I wanted the salsa to be a little bit spicier so I ended up chopping up some of the leftover serrano peppers and just putting them in this little pan and you'll see at the end I end up putting this just as a topping on top of the taquitos so um I guess I put them in without filming but uh you're supposed to like turn them over after a couple minutes so that's like kind of what I was doing here <laughs> I feel feel like making videos and set your alarm for a palin hour a palindrome because that's good luck 717 baby um yeah keep cooking that yumminess oh the alarm must have went off let's see if it's ready mm, looking pretty good i mean i think they could probably go in for longer yeah just kind of test them out and see it's like really up to you with what you like obviously um and remember the salsa that you made and the ranch that you made the other day, um, we're going to use those. <laughs> I'm really weird. I guess it's not that weird. It's a pretty American thing to just put ranch on everything. I blame chilies. Like chilies is like Tex-Mex and like has ranch. Okay. So chop up the leftover lettuce you have. Well, that's what I did. And then I put the taquitos in the oven again and they look crispier and yummier. So here we go. I put them on my plate. I put the lettuce on top. I put the onions on top. I put the cheese from the Miyoko's cheese from the other day and the serrano peppers chopped up. Oh, so good this is seriously like so good and also like this is such a low-key meal and like I wasn't even feeling good but like you can like elevate your dish just by like <laughs> putting fucking leftover vegetables that are going bad on top of it so that's what I did here and uh it tasted really good I'm not gonna lie <laughs> so Thursday there I am tired after yoga yeah look at me thinking I'm strong there's me thinking I'm cool for doing yoga <laughs> So I was also tired. I think I was supposed to make something else like I had planned, but we're going to make um, Annie's mac and cheese because it's the best vegan mac and cheese. It reminds me of the Earth Balance mac and cheese. Do any of you guys remember that? That was my favorite. But we're going to make Annie's mac and cheese. And I don't think I need to really walk you through this, but this is what I did. I boiled water. So <laughs> I went ahead and put some water in a pot. Riveting, riveting. Um, I heated it up. And uh Yeah. Uh, you're also going to want to get ready some almond milk and some earth balance. Earth balance is optional. Optional. Can I talk? And for afterwards, you're going to want nooch, um, hot sauce, garlic salt, and black pepper. Well, I don't know if you're going to want that. I want that. And that's what I ended up doing. So get that ready. Okay. It's boiling. Hmm. Boiling. So this is what you do. <laughs> you dump the pasta into the water and then it cooks. Oh my God. Can you believe it? Oh, and here we go with another Palin hour, 8.08. It's good luck, baby. Oh, there's my carpal tunnel brace. I forgot I was wearing that. <laughs> okay, it's ready now. So we're going to strain it uh, in the strainer. And uh, then in the pan or the pot, uh, put a little bit of almond milk. I don't measure. <laughs> Just kind of eyeball what you think that you'll need. And then, oh, the little cheesy pack. This reminds me of being a kid and being like, mom, can I help make dinner? And like me helping make dinner was like pouring the cheesy pack of mac and cheese into the um, pot. So I put a little nooch or not nooch. I put a little earth balance in there too. mix it, mash it, stir, stir, stir. 
Mix it, mash it, stir, stir, stir. Do you guys remember that from that kid's book, Patrick Eats His Dinner? Mix it, mash it, stir, stir, stir. No more balls of mushy poison. Okay, nooch. Gotta get the nooch. You don't have to do any of this extra stuff, like the pepper and everything that you're seeing me put on, like the extra spices. I just like it more. And sometimes I like extra cheese, so I got some Daya shreds. Shred it up, baby. And Cholula makes everything better, honestly. So good. <laughs> I'm so cringy. Oh my god. And it's Friday. That's my boyfriend. Isn't he cute? Um, <laughs> so we're going to make Asian fusion. That's what we call it. We're just anything that's Asian inspired. So we got frozen broccoli, corn, porkless pork bites, and chow mein noodles. We're also going to need some carrots, onion, the elephant garlic, ginger, and the baby garlic. Look at me. I don't know why I'm using like the baby garlic and the elephant garlic, but I like it. Okay. Oh, and your tried and true soy sauce and toasted sesame oil this is not sponsored by sprouts by the way <laughs> chop up your ginger and your garlic and your onion you can roughly chop them because we're gonna put this stuff in the blender so like you don't really need to chop it very good depending on how good your blender is so go ahead and put that stuff in there with some water and then the soy sauce and the sesame oil and blend it up baby so this is going to be a sauce for the chow mein um so you can set that aside and start cooking the other things so cook some carrots slice them up however you like I think I put a little bit of sesame oil in this pan too. Um, and then add the broccoli, add the corn, whatever veggies you want. You know, this is just what I had on hand. So in the meantime, we're going to boil some water for the chow mein noodles in my disgusting oven. is so gross. There's some more um, onions and garlic that I chopped up and had set aside. And we're going to add that into this veggie... Um, skillet and then in a separate little thing we're going to make the sweet and sour porkless pork bites by Gardee and these are so good so get that going with a little bit of oil as well and then while that's cooking you can get your chow mein noodles out that I got for like a dollar on target.com delivery and put them in your boiling water pot I don't know the names of kitchen things like pot and pan and skillet and whatever go ahead and set your timer for three minutes and three seconds Oh, and then that's the sauce pack. <laughs> that's the sauce pack. I forgot I left that in the video. That's the sauce pack that I was heating up with hot water in the sink. Um, wow, look, it looks like the noodles are ready, and it looks like the other stuff is actually coming along pretty nicely. Uh, so go ahead and strain that. Strain it in the strainer, baby, and put it back in the pot on a very low heat in the stove. And uh, yeah, pour that sauce on there. You might have to shake it up because it kind of like separates because there's oil and water. Oh my god. Look how good and crispy those look. Wow. Yeah, those look really good and crispy. Put them aside and put the heated up salt salt pack, sauce pack on them separately. Don't try to cook with a sauce pack because I always do and I always fail. Like it's so much better to just add it on afterwards. And look at the noodles with the sauce on them. Just cook them in there for a little while, like a few more minutes and make sure it kind of like absorbs up all the sauce. Oh, and the veggies look good too. I think we're ready to go, you guys. Oh yeah, baby. Oh my God, this is a great way to end my week and this video. I hope you enjoyed my what I eat vegan in a week video. Um, truly, honestly, it wasn't, as you could tell from the low quality of the meals, it wasn't anything I planned ahead. This is a 100% honest, regular week in my life. Things come up. I didn't feel good, so I changed into some, some taquitos, you know. But what I really wanted to show is that you can kind of make meals with whatever you have. Like the frozen meal is something that's like so simple, but because we had leftover romaine lettuce from the salad, we just chopped it up and put it on top and it made it like so much better of a meal. So what I really wanted to show was just how easy it is to be vegan and be like lazy and busy. I am so busy. It's so crazy. After quarantine, I have just gotten even busier since March. Um, so you can be a busy body and you can make vegan meals pretty easily. So I have two people I'm actually going to challenge in this video. I'm going to challenge Joey, Joey and the diamonds. I am challenging you to make a YouTube video or a TikTok of you eating vegan make something vegan and know your popcorn video that you just posted doesn't count, even though that was vegan. Like make something for dinner, make something, um, you know, a snack or something like that. Something a little bit different. I know that there's a lot of stuff going on with the fires in Santa Cruz. I don't know the access to your kitchen situation, but 
um, I challenge you to do that. I also want to challenge my friend Tiani, Tiani Nicole, um, to make a what I eat in a day or what I eat vegan dinners video for a week, just like this one. Um, I'd love to see, like, I'm just one vegan and I see a vegans and like, I'm pretty low bar. <laughs> I have a pretty disgusting, um, like taste buds. Like I really like Daya and I feel like everyone hates Daya. Um, I understand why people don't like it, but that's a whole nother tangent and I need to wrap up this video. But anyway, I challenge Joey and I challenge Tiani to make something vegan and tag me. Um, maybe we can get a whole chain going on. So thanks again for watching my video. I hope you realize how easy eating vegan was and and thank you for being patient because this is not <laughs> this is not a high quality video. I know that. I was really kind of experimenting here and I think I took on too much trying to do um, everything like like an entire week. I actually messed up the editing and had to re-edit. Oh my God. So anyway, thanks for your patience in watching this. I will have better videos coming out soon. You know, practice makes permanent. doesn't make perfect, but it makes permanent. Um, so if you watched all the way through, go ahead and leave a whale and lemon emoji in the comments. Anyways, thanks for watching. Love you guys.